In this uh, Mental Health Awareness Week and in the 2017 year of mental health, it's really important that we're talking about mental health as part of this election. A really shocking statistic is that there has been a 43% increase in the number of people being detained under the Mental Health Act in just the last decade or so. And I'm really pleased that Theresa May has announced that this will be reviewed under a new Conservative government and that new rules will be applied so that only those for whom detention is an absolute necessity will be detained and others will be treated properly in the community. The other important factor that must run alongside that is that we must look at the way mental health sufferers are discriminated against at work and bringing in new anti-discrimination measures will reflect that mental illness is something that ebbs and flows in people's lives and they get worse and they get better before they can improve. And so having proper upstate modern anti-discrimination laws that reflect the realities of mental health is really important. And the final piece of the jigsaw is about early intervention. We know that if you get in there early, you treat people better, you treat them quicker, they recover sooner. And that is why the Prime Minister Theresa May's announcement that there will be uh, another 10,000 mental health clinicians in our NHS treating people, getting them healthy better, is really good news. And the important thing is this, uh, that there is a compassionate reason for doing this. Mental health is a terrible affliction for an individual and for their family. But there's also an economic imperative as well. If you get people better sooner, they go back to being more economically active quicker uh, and they don't cost the taxpayer in terms of the benefits that, that they would require. So this is really important and it, I'm so delighted that Theresa May has put mental health front and centre of this election campaign.